Let's talk about loops. Who likes loops here? Do you like loops? Fan of loops? Don't you love loops? We know them. We love them. They're very familiar. Now, the question for you is, can you imagine coding without loops? Right? The simple programs, obviously, yes, you know, doing iteration. Yes, you can code without loops, of course. But how about collections where you have to deal with multiple of the same thing? You can code without loops even then, right? Have the uh, Java streams refresher for that, right? Java has an API for streams, which allows you to do functional programming and do things on every item in a collection without having to reach for loops, right? Java streams represent like a sequence of data, right? It's like you think of a stream as basically a collection taken and put in a, in a consistent streaming interface, right? Because a collection could be saved in a whole lot of different ways, right? Uh, a tree set is saved in a different way from a link list. It doesn't matter, right? So just a stream kind of takes, however the collection is internally implemented, it converts it into this kind of like the stream structure where all the in, in individual elements are being sent one after another. And then that's what you get with the stream. And then what you do is you focus on the computation part of it as opposed to the collections which focus on the storage, right? When you're dealing with collections, you're focusing only on storage. Like how does it store? How do you put things into it? How do you retrieve things from it? But with the stream, what you're doing is, I don't care how it's actually stored internally. All I care about is how I process it. That's what streams are all about, right? And the iteration happens internally, right? You're not doing the iteration yourself. You let the API do the iteration the API probably has a for loop, I don't know, however it implements it, you're not doing the for loop, right? So that's how streams work. Okay, very well. Now here's an example of a loop. So I have a, an array as a list and one to 10. And for each element, I'm printing out the, the element, right? I'm just doing a loop up to size that I'm printing it out. Basic stuff should be for somebody who's familiar with Java. So here I've switched it to using streams. What I'm doing here is converting this collection to a stream. And now I can do a for each on it. I'm not using a loop, but I'm basically running some operation on every element in that collection. Again, this should be simple stuff. Now, there are a bunch of stream operations, which you should know if you worked in worked with streams, you have something called a map, something called a filter, we call flat map, right? A map allows you to substitute one element from a stream with another element. Filter allows you to decide whether a certain element needs to continue in the stream or not. Flat map allows you to kind of like take another stream and flat map it. There's also something like find first, which finds the first element in that stream which matches a certain criteria, uh, matches a certain predicate, and and so many more, right? So this has a very important implication to how we do reactive programming, and that's the reason why we're going to do some exercises, right? We're going to do some exercises on um, Java streams, which is exercise one in the repo. The exercise prerequisites is you need to have Java, well, I... That's not right. You need to have Java 11 or above, or I think Java 9 might work. I don't know. Try to go to as latest of Java as possible, okay? Try to go as, as new as possible. Have IntelliJ or uh, VS Code or any of your favorite Java IDs and use a Git CLI, right? So you should have this repo checked out. So here are a bunch of exercises. I want you to give this a try. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough about this repo. So there is, uh, there are a couple of files here, which are sources, which we're going to use for, for working on this, right? So there is something called stream sources, which is what we're going to work in this, in this class. So we have a string and number stream. Okay. We have an int number stream and a user number stream, right? Three streams, all right? A string number stream gives you a bunch of strings. Int number stream gives you a bunch of integers, right? Every time incrementing by two. 
And then, so you get zero, two, four, six, and so on. And then you have a user number stream, which is a bunch of users, right? User objects. So these are three methods that I've put in the stream sources, and we're going to use that for exercise one. Okay. So you're going to use int number stream and user number user stream to do these operations. First, you're going to print all the numbers in the int number stream. Simple, very simple. I just showed you the code for it. Print all the numbers from the int number stream that are less than five. Print the second and the third number from the int number stream that's greater than five. Print the first number in the int number stream that's greater than five, but if nothing is found, print minus one, okay? Print all the first names of all the users in the user stream. And the last one, which is probably the trickiest of this lot, and honestly, none of these should be too challenging. Print the first names in the user stream for all the users that have IDs from the number streams. If you look at the stream sources here, the user stream, they have IDs, right? So Messi has one, Ronaldo has two, Maradona has two, so on, right? So they are not unique, right? So Ronaldo and Maradona has the same ID, purely random choices here, no, no implications to the gentleman involved. So what you need to do is, Get, get the ints from the int number stream, right? It has numbers. Now for each of those numbers, find the user from this and then print the first names there, right? So for all of these, you're not gonna be using loops. You're gonna use strictly functional programming. You're gonna use streams because they are streams after all. We're returning streams here and you're going to complete these exercises. I'm gonna do these exercises and then we can we can compare notes, all right? so. Have at it again. Don't say, oh, yeah, this is not for me. This is your opportunity. To, you, you're in front of a computer. You have a Java ID open in front of you. Why don't you use this time to build a Java muscle and get a little bit better in Java, right? Do these exercises and we will meet again. But do the exercises. Do them. Do them. Do them now.